everyone, it's Hannah here with another video, and I'm going to be doing a video on photography and if mini sessions are killing your photography business. And there are some people who can, you know, do it and work it off, and because they how much experience they have and how much work and time and effort they're doing, and they've been doing photography for a very long time and it might be killing some photographers because they're just beginning being a photographer and the reason why it might kill you as like a newer photographer is because for many sessions is because you're just starting out and if newer let's say if your platform is like maybe 500 people and you're doing a photo shoot for maybe 100 people out of the 500 and if they want to come back they're expecting the same quality of your pictures the same um pricing and everything that when you're just starting out and so they are just gonna keep coming to you for very cheap and all that should be or even with free photo shoots it's kind of the same situation and they're probably going to just stay and wait for your mini sessions or your free opportunities of a photo shoot they won't come to you for a regular prices of your photography and do I recommend it as a new photographer I personally wouldn't just to wait until you're more out there more experienced and once you've been a photographer for a while and post a lot frequently frequently and r more out there, etc., then I would um, slowly bring um, the mini free sessions and that would help later down in the road. And um, yeah, but I don't know what I was going to say, but... Uh, when you're more out there as a photographer you can do some mini mini sessions or free depending on what you most feel comfortable with during those slow seasons or about to be slow seasons so then you can be a little bit more busy with your photography so yeah i hope this helps in any kind of way if it does please like please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.